Hey, how's it going guys? I'm here to give you a quick and dirty look at the Strike Industries GSR, which is a rear sight mount for Glock. Uh, I'm saying quick and dirty because I'm going to go into a, a more detailed one after I get some range time with this. At the same time, I also did a video of me installing it, so you'll see how uh, easy it is to install or how difficult depending on your skill level. And yeah, so that's pretty much what the piece is with the current burst fast fire attached to it. I'm going to take that off. So that's what you get. It's a rail. Uh, optional charging handle that you can add on at the same time it acts as iron sights so I'm gonna go into detail on that but before I go into that I'm gonna show clear so there's no uh, bullet in the chamber the magazine is empty um, this is not a gun-free zone because if it was like, no guns would exist right um, so yeah so gun clear safe to go there's no bullets around here uh, this is pretty much a rear sight rail for red dots or whatever you might want to mount on this thing. I don't currently have a front sight because mine was a Dawson Precision and it was a little, it's higher than what would probably work with uh, the standard uh, rear sight on this, but I will have a front sight on there, so just imagine there's one there. And so it's a top rail and a rear sight. So the reason I got this and the reason I wanted it so bad was that um, I ran just the regular burris on here, but it had the regular plate, so I had no rear sight. And so if I wanted to, you know, um, say in a situation where I'm at the range and my buddies want to see who's a better marksman, um, you can't really use a red dot sight against uh, iron sights. And so I wouldn't be able to use this piece, and I love this piece, and I use this piece the most. So it um, it's more familiar with me, and I like shooting it. Uh, but aside from range time as well, if you're, say, in a situation where you're using this to defend yourself or defend people around you or loved ones, or you're in a mission, and it's critical that uh, you have an accurate piece and then you have a red dot on there and the red dot goes out, battery dies or it breaks or something happens, you still can rely on your iron sights. So again, if I had a front sight, imagine it's there, you would be able to use your iron sights with the red dot. Let me put that on there. Right there. So you would be able to see through it, still acquire your shot. At the same time, you can take this off too. So I like the, the modularity of that, being able to take on and off, and the ability to uh, have that. The, the charging handle is nice. Uh, so what you get in the package, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place, but you get the rear sight, which is also a rare, rail, and then you get the rear plate, which is held together with uh, a big screw here, um, just a regular Allen screw that holds the rear plate to the uh, rear sight. And then you get four long set screws that holds the, the whole thing onto your frame, not your frame, your slide. And then you have two small set screws, one for the, the sight area and one here that would hold your charging handle, which is optional again. And so this is ambidextrous. I can take that out. It's a T7, one and one half uh, torque wrench. Unscrew that. You can pull that on and put on this side. I really like the charging handle as well in tactical situation wise because uh, the way that it's tapered, it allows me to get a better grip on this when I rack it. So I don't have to worry about maybe sliding off the slide. Uh, the serration is not catching on my fingers. Uh, say, uh, God forbid I end up in a tactical situation where I'm shot and I'm bloody and I'm trying to slide this back uh, and I slip, it allows me to have something easier to grab and pull. At the same time, uh, I like the fact that it's just something there because uh, I have my, my sister and uh, my mother go shoot with me and they cannot rack this for the life of them. That charging handle is something easy for them to be able to rack. And so, yeah, I like that. Um, Another thing is, one thing that concerned me, I'm not sure if it would concern you, is if you were to holster it, if it would be jatting at you. But then I thought then you can just put it on the other side and use it like an AK and rack on that side. But overall, I mean, um, I've kind of carried this around my house, holstered, to see how it would be when I sit. It's no real problem. It doesn't jut out that bad. Uh, but yeah, again, the, the racking ability is nice because, say, you're here and you're racking out like this, you can really grab and tactically and you can pull that out. Get on that quicker. So it would be like this, you pull, here, grab, wrap, like that. So overall, um, I love this thing. It's uh, what I believe to be aluminum, CNC'd, and then anodized. So that's just a quick look. I'm sorry for the quality of the video. I'm going to have a range report and a better video out, but I just want to get that out. Cool, if you have any questions, let me know.